Hello out there to the wonderful, wonderful residents of Hudson County. I'm your freeholder, Anthony L. Romano, representing the cities of Jersey City Heights, downtown, and Hoboken. Well, some good news to report today. As of July 2nd, we're going to have at our establishments for eating and uh, other, other app, you know, bleh, again, do it again, do it again, okay. Um, we're going to have a capacity of 25% of any establishment to, uh, um, so you can either eat or have a beverage. I think that's an important thing. Also, our playgrounds are scheduled to be open. I know our parks department is working very diligently right now, meeting with the county executive and staff to figure out how we're going to make sure that there's social distancing. And that goes for our water park, also at Columbus Park, and the bathrooms, which will constantly be disinfected. So that's all good news. We also took a vote last night at our freeholder meeting with regards to the CARES Act funding, and Hoboken is going to receive um, 1.4, I'm sorry, $1.9 million in small business money that Hoboken will be distributing to those that apply. The city of Hoboken and the city of Jersey City will be the recipients of this money Therefore, they will be the ones to distribute the money when they set up an application process. So we look forward to that. Also, Hoboken is receiving $1.4 million in um, COVID expense money. So this way that the money that was expended uh, for different items during this unfortunate pandemic can be uh, reimbursed. So that's all good things that's on the horizon. Movies in the park. They'll be coming back just for one month in August, so each county park will have one. And again, they'll be working on the social distancing requirements to ensure everybody's safety. Unfortunately, the senior boat ride in July has been canceled, as well as the movies in the park, until we can get the program going uh, in the proper way. Basketball and other contact sports, we don't have any date yet. That's gonna be up to the governor and the health department. So all in all, we have a lot of finally good things happening with the weather breaking. It's so warm outside, people want to enjoy. Uh, I know in, uh, in Hoboken, some of the pools aren't open. And let's hope that we can get through this summer and uh, the toughness that you all show through this pandemic is very important. I would like to thank the different unions that have supported me, the um, Hudson County Corrections Officers, Hudson County Correction Supervisors, Hudson County Sheriff's Officers, Hudson County Sheriff's Officer Supervisors, uh, and, and some of the la labor unions, the Hudson County Building Trades, the Central Labor Council, and I think it's important that they know that I'm a big supporter of our unions and to continue the good work that they do. So, let's take a commercial break and we come back, we'll talk to whoever would like to call in. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy DeGeese, the chairwoman for the Hudson County Democratic Organization. Here to remind you that we have a very important election coming up. Our primary election will be uh, primarily vote by mail and it'll be held on July 7th, 2020. So pay attention to what's coming in your mail, follow all of the instructions and mail back a uh, postage is paid for. I'm also here to endorse our candidates. The HCDO line is on column B. All of our candidates represent strong leadership for Hudson County. Time and time again, their proven leadership has given Hudson County some of the best unmatched constituent services in the entire state. Many of those serving our most vulnerable populations, like our seniors, our youth, our veteran, and our immigrants. One of those freeholders, Anthony Stick Romano, who represents Hoboken and parts of downtown in the heights of Jersey City, is one of my favorite candidates of all. Not only because he is a close friend of mine and works tirelessly for this county, but he has led the other freeholders to connect with the advocacy groups and the nonprofits in his area. Before every, any type of leadership and policy, he makes sure he's consulting back with the community. That's why our constituent services here are completely unmatched. I and him are incredibly proud of the open space initiatives that have improved parks, especially for our youth and our youth with disabilities. He's incredibly proud as I am of his senior initiatives and his veteran initiatives too that keep our community inclusive and together. 
Anthony Stick Romano is a great freeholder and his continued service to Hudson County will just continue to propel us forward. forward. So please on July 7th, do not forget to vote whether you're doing it by mail or voting provisionally at a limited polling place or dropping it off at a ballot box drop off. Please vote our democratic line. Keep Hudson County strong and united as strong Democrats progressing the community, bringing unmatched constituent services to all of its citizens. Thank you. Welcome back to the wonderful residents of Hudson County. I'm freeholder Anthony L. Romano. Uh, just a couple comments. Last night, uh, Prosecutor Esther Suarez hosted a conversation with your prosecutor at County Prep. It was well attended. Voices were heard. And I just want to commend the prosecutor for doing that. And from what I've been told, that's just the first of many that you would like to do. Uh, also at the freeholder meeting yesterday, uh, after uh, you know deliberations, uh, and the, uh, the passing of the Hudson County budget uh, was, was taken last night. And it just goes, uh, I have to say, compliments to those that work so hard on it. A lot of people don't realize the diligence of our directors in working with the county executive and his staff. And I'm proud to say we have a very diverse group of directors, which I think um, helps us all the time. They're very competent, and I just want to say thank you to them. For my freeholder colleagues, for all working together, and also, again, to the executive, uh, county executive and his staff, because the reason that we're going to get through this is because government has to work together, and that's essential. And the reason we work together is because we serve you, and we can never lose fact of that. You are the reason we sit here in the office, and you are the reason that we have to provide services that are needed. There's a, been much talk about how some of the money is going to go to uh, mental health services and social services, which is, which is important. And I think that by hearing what some of the residents um, are saying, we're listening. And again, uh, people do a yeoman's job that work for the county. These are tough times, and I can't emphasize enough all the county employees for the, for the jobs that you do in our county facilities. So to ensure that our visitors um, receive you know, good, uh, you know, when they enter our buildings that they are treated well and that it's safe. And also kudos to all our law enforcement agencies. Um, you know, this has been a tough time on all of them. Resources have been stretched. And as we all know, due, due to the uh, recent um, concerns that many of the citizens have due to the tragedy that occurred to uh, Mr. Floyd, um, we're listening. And it's important to remember, though, that those uh, law enforcement agencies, first and foremost, are out there protecting us. And also, please, make sure that we all know before we comment on any situation what occurred. Because in this county, we're very diversified, and it's important that everyone be recognized and respected. We'll come back after commercial. Hi, I'm Pat O'Melia with The City Show, and I'm here to ask you to vote for my friend, 5th District Freeholder, Anthony L. Romano, more commonly known as Stick Romano. Freeholder Romano has been a tireless advocate for the residents of Hoboken and my Jersey City Heights. Whether it's parks, public transportation, water and sewer upgrades, and pumping stations in Hoboken. Freeholder Romano has delivered and will continue to do so. On July 7th, I'm asking you to vote for Cory Booker, Albio Series, basketball legend, my friend Anthony L. Romano, and all the Column B Freeholder candidates. I'm Pat O'Melia. Remember to vote, and thank you. Welcome back. I think we have a... Um very important person in Jersey City government that's going to chime in here. Our, our new councilman, he's representing the Heights, filling the big shoes of the late councilman Michael Yun, and that'll be Councilman Youssef Salali. Welcome back. I think we have Councilman Youssef on. Youssef, one of your first tests as a councilman to make sure the microphone is on. <laughs> yeah. How's everything, sir? <laughs> or else no one can hear you. Okay, tell us about your... You know, you're excited, and this is something that you always wanted to do. And what's some of your initiatives for Jersey City? Absolutely. Uh, the first thing that I really, you know, want to impress upon people is we are going through a pandemic, and um, it's important to never 
lose sight of that. It's important to always remember that, you know, we still have a long way to go. We've come a long way, um, but we will get through this together. So um, as we open up, we have to do it in a responsible fashion. We have to give out face masks. You know, we have to make sure people are social distancing. We have to make sure that the businesses have the resources that they need and the support from their government so that they can open up in a safe and responsible fashion and that they can essentially recoup the three months that they lost, you know, being shuttered. Um, we really don't want Jersey City, especially the Heights, to um, slide back into what it used to be, you know, and the Heights has come a long way. I was born and raised here and, um, you know, the, it's it's changed a lot. You know, some for good, some for better, but um, and some of it, you know, we have more work to do. Um, and it's because of, you know, elected officials such as yourself, you know, that have been diligent stewards in the community that have uh, helped push us forward. And um, really, it's, uh, you know, the way I got here was through tra tra ver very tragic circumstances. Um, you know, but I am humbled and honored to be able to represent the community where I was born and raised and to serve alongside, you know, legends such as yourself, uh, Freeholder Romano. I, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, you know, I'm taking, I'm walking, uh, in, in the path of, you know, giants such as yourself. So, um, really want to learn from you. I want to work with you, um. I do want to work on affordable housing. I want to work on security in the area, making sure that it's safe um, and that the character of the neighborhood in the Heights does not change um, from being a family friendly place, you know, and it's it's a beautiful place to have a family and raise kids. And I want to keep it that way. And there's a wonderful relationship between the uh, Jersey City Police Department and the people in the Heights. I think uh, that North District tradition goes back to many different uh, leaders that you had. Right now, it's Captain Joe Santiago. I had the privilege of attending the PS28 uh, outdoor graduation in Riverview Park uh, two days ago. And it was really wonderful to see those children have some sort of graduation. I was so proud to be invited. I spoke, and I think that the, the representation that the Jersey City Police uh, we're there interacting with the children, the parents, and the administrators of the school is extremely important. And the new officer up there, because Melissa Sarimento has been uh, transferred, she's a detective now, and it's Matt Ramos, and he's doing a great job. And I, I was proud yeah. to see that. And I think that you are going to help those relationships grow. You're going to make them grow. And together, because the government's working together, local, county, state, it's important because that's the only way issues are going to be resolved. As you said, the economic reboot, which we need, is going to be coming from a lot of the monies that we voted on last night at the freeholder meeting and how it's distributed through the cities. Uh, the Heights is changing. It's growing. It's um, really, I'm older than you, so I've seen how it was years ago, too, where it went to. And it's just so dynamic right now. It's uh, the way Hoboken is. Things were bad, and now things have gotten better, and we want to continue as elected officials to serve our constituents and to improve all their conditions economically. And you made a good point. Affordable housing is such an important, hot issue in Hoboken and Jersey City. So I look forward to working with you. Any other comments you have for our audience? Uh, just, you know, for everyone to stay safe, and literally I'm available 24-7, um, anyone that needs anything from me. You know, I literally am pouring my heart out into this. And, um, you know, if you saw the paper, I, I was supposed to be on a reality TV show. But I, I basically I, I gave that up because I wanted to, you know, fulfill. You know, I took an oath to be a councilman. So I want to make sure I'm doing the best job possible. And I have the best role model in you, uh, Freeholder Romano. Like you have been tireless in this community. And I always looked up to you. And it's really... You know, it's it's crazy that I'm even a councilman. Like you, you wake up one day and your whole life changes. And, well, I'm, I'm um, honored that you you know I feel that way because I, as you, I f fell into becoming a freeholder, and uh, due to someone having to drop out at the last minute. But I think you made something important that you said 
and I've always lived by that. We, we have to try to solve problems, not place blame. Sometimes we can't give everyone what they want, but the accessibility that we give them makes the constituents feel good and to learn about everyone's culture and um, to always show respect. And I, I am honored to be working with you, Youssef. So you take care. Yeah, and you've Remember always, we... I always see you at the events, like you're every, every event, I'm like, you know, this guy, he's a machine, <laughs> you know, he's just an animal. You can't stop him. And then you know Arabic and you know, you know, you, you're ver very well versed in, in the community. And it's, uh, you know, it's a testament to you and your history here and uh, just literally your heart and your ability to connect with people. And uh, that was very clear to me when I met you. So um, definitely looking to learn the ropes from you. Stick, I, I missed my first Ramadan dinner this year in nine years, ten years because of uh, the <laughs> pandemic. And I always look forward to that. And with the, the wonderful Egyptian ambassador at, at our mosque. And uh, even, as I said, Easter for myself was uh, a no show this year. I always enjoy reading at church, the passion. But God will get us through this. And uh, we just have to hope always for the best. And let's remind everyone out there on behalf of Yusuf and myself. Please, when you receive your ballot, it's not junk mail. If there are any questions, please uh, call either one of your elected officials or the Board of Elections. It's a vote by mail. There is only certain um, locations to go to to vote in a Hoboken and Jersey City. It's not the usual ones. They've been moved around. You cannot vote in a booth unless you have disabilities. And you can only vote provisionally if you go. So please... Make sure you fill out your ballot. July 7th is our primary. Let's get them in. Youssef, I can't thank you enough. I'm honored for you uh, calling in and also wholeheartedly you endorsing you. But I'm wholeheartedly endorsing you for a freeholder. I'll be voting for you. I got my ballot. You know, make <laughs> sure you vote for column B. Make sure you really do a hard circle on uh, what's it called? <laughs> Stick Romano. <laughs> thank you. Column B. Okay. Thank you, Youssef. Thank Stay you. in touch. Thank you. Let's take a break here at Stick at Night, and uh, we'll call it uh, right back. It has actually changed my life. You know, it's wonderful to be in recovery. I'm also a grandpa, a great grandpa. I found joy in being abstinent from use. You know, I'm a family member. I'm a productive member of society. Um, I'm a dog owner, things like that. I'm a fiance. So I think that recovery means on such a broad scale, there's so many different layers to what recovery means to me. We're just like everyone else. We have heart and soul. Um, it's just that we've, we have the substance abuse disorder and that we're dealing with that. And if anything, it makes us a little bit stronger. The most important thing for people in the communities to know is that they're just like anyone else. And that they don't necessarily want to be doing the things that they're doing and it's a chronic illness and it's a chronic disease that needs to be addressed as so. Welcome back. I'm Freeholder Anthony Romano. Let's see what the wonderful residents of our county are going to send me in way of questions. Number one. Will we ever see the return of the Hudson County Police? I was not a freeholder when the Hudson County Police were abolished in 1996. I think uh, that there was, the abolishment was due to economic times and the fact there was duplication of resources. The roads of each municipality that belonged to the Hudson County Police were taken over by executive order by the municipal police. Um, the sheriff's department has also taken over many of the roles that the county police ref um, performed. So at this time, I do not think you will see the return of the Hudson County Police. It's more of an economic issue, and again, um, a re repetition of services. Thank you, Maddie, and uh, please continue. It Continue to a call, and if you like, to, please call me on my cell if you want anything further on that, if you'd like to see a copy of the documentation. Henry, yes, I did. I've had the honor of meeting Frank Sinatra. I was a young police officer 
in July of 1984. I was on the bodyguard detail of President Reagan and Frank Sinatra, who came to Hoboken to the St. Anne's Festival on Jefferson Street. It was a fantastic experience. Um, my uncle had went to school with Frank Sinatra, and my mother had met him. And my mother and father were fans and always went to any of his concerts in the area or in Florida or in Las Vegas. So it was definitely a wonderful experience. Um, he was a gentleman, and uh, he had sent me later on a picture uh, that he wrote a couple comments on because that time I was uh, going to get married. And uh, he was really very interested and asked questions. And uh, I think it was glad for him. It was a healing, I believe, of the soul to come back to Hoboken and be received so warmly after all those years not being there. He's done so much um, on the very, very quietly with regards to Stevens and to the, at that time it was St. Mary's Hospital, to always uh, look in on his two go deceased godfathers, Frank Garrick and Jerry Malloy. And, and then in the next year, in 1985, he received a, a degree from Stevens, an honorary degree, and I had the pleasure of seeing him again, but not uh, having a conversation like we did in 1984. And um, hopefully uh, that answered your question. What is the importance of parks t to, to me? Very important. Courtney, I uh, grew up on 10th and Willow. Columbus Park was always a part of my life. I went and uh, when I was very young, my father would take me to Braddock Park to learn to ride a bike, fly a kite, roller skate. But Columbus Park is so important to me because we did so many different things there. We either played tackle football on the plots, we played lefty softball not to lose the ball in the tennis courts, you played basketball, and it was a weight if you lost. Um, so it's definitely, and, and I think in this day and age, Children need to be outdoors and in our parks. The interaction to, with other children, to respect one another, and to get away from always being on computers and all the electrical devices. Parents get to know each other. We have our movies in the parks. So parks are very close to my heart. Uh, we're constantly improving our county parks. In our Columbus Park and Washington Park, we have upgraded the playground equipment. We have wonderful fields in Washington Park. In Columbus Park, we put a water spray park in. We have our movies in the park, and hopefully we're gonna have the one in August. So um, par parks are always on the top of my list of importance because of what it means for parents and for the children themselves to learn about outdoors and our different um, horticulture that's there. And um, we're going to uh, keep, uh, keep it up. So Courtney, any questions again too, please feel free to contact me. Right now I'm off to a, a ceremony at Hoboken University Medical Center to honor those that passed on from COVID, unfortunately. So we'll stay in touch. As always, it's a pleasure interacting with my residents and, and constituents. You are all important to me. I hope to earn your trust and support. I need you. I want to serve you. God bless each and every one of you, and thank you.